I'm going to present to you uh, downtown's first two uh, facade grant applications, which we are very pleased to present to you and, and on behalf of my board, uh, the Downtown Development Advisory Board. But first, a little background on what we're presenting to you today. Um, Appearance or place is a number one factor in the development of downtown districts. Over 40 years as the Main Street program has evolved and we've seen what does and does not work in downtown and what's a number one deciding factor for development, new businesses, visitors and tourists. Appearance, meaning authenticity, meaning building upgrades such as that is the number one determining factor in downtown development. So with that, it becomes a hallmark and a linchpin in any uh, Main Street program, which we are as of January 1st this year. Um, so Mesquite's approach to facade improvement and how we got to where we are tonight. Um, we research the best practices of Main Street communities throughout Texas and throughout the nation of how they incentivize facade improvements within their downtowns. And then uh, we presented a, a, a policy for this, which you adopted in May of this year. This program, in essence, offers a 50% reimbursement on impro approved improvements to facades within the downtown area. And this is for 50% of anything above $2,000, so if you spent $3,000 on a project, you are eligible for $1,500 reimbursement. If you had a $40,000 project, you're eligible for 20. The project is capped at $20,000, meaning that if you had an $80,000 improvement project, your reimbursement would be capped at $20,000. So quickly, the process and how this operates. First of all, an applicant uh, comes to us by a variety of means, but it, they eventually meet and consult with me um, and sometimes with our design uh, volunteers. And we consult about what's uh, appropriate to this program, what isn't, and we kind of walk them through the steps of what happens. Then the property owner or a business owner with property owner permission uh, secures a design for their improvements. Now they can do this one of two ways. They can work with their own contractor and get a design done, which one of our candidates did tonight or they can work within the Main Street program. Uh, by virtue of being part of the Texas Main Street program, we offer free facade design services. These are for, by certified architects and designers within the staff of the Texas Historical Commission. So we're very proud of what they produce and you'll see an example tonight. Then they also gather quotes for the work. So. Um, um, we can, we, we can take all of this into consideration as they apply. The first step on approval is to go through review by the Downtown Advisory Board. They either vote to or not to recommend this application to you, the council, for approval. Then, as, we will, as you will tonight, the council considers for approval or not. Then, and only then, once council approves, the work may begin on the property. Once the work's completed, then staff will inspect it to make sure that the work that was completed is as agreed upon uh, when council approved the project. Once that's certified as appropriate and complete, then they are reimbursed 50% of their costs. So our first applicant tonight will be George Boyce at 202 West Davis Street. This building, uh, I believe, built in 1939 as uh, the old fro 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 frozen food locker building, say that fast 10 times. Uh, it's a 41 st foot storefront, uh, about 2,900 square feet. Um, it's an office building at this point, but you'll see that it has some, some um, brickwork could, that could use some cleaning and such. Here is what's proposed, a new awning, and also a uh, soft wash of the brick. We do not advocate power washing or sandblasting of old brick because it does degrade the brick and it causes uh, damage and it, it compromises the structure at some point. So um, this was reviewed and approved by our advisory board. Here's the scope of work. So you'll see that they're uh, proposing standing seam awnings with closed smoothed ends, extruded steel, or extruded seam metal, uh, the evergreen color, the framework is one inch galvanized steel, and then you see the soft uh, wash of the brick and you see the total of $5,600 approximately. The grant request is for $2,800 and 97 cents. It is something that we put in place a few uh, months ago. We've been talking about our downtown and it's exciting to see things happening downtown and this is just a, uh, some, to some may seem like a small step, but getting the appearance and the facade of these buildings updated is a tremendous step and I think it shows the rest of our downtown that we're serious about uh, working with improving the downtown area of Mesquite. So. 
that passes 5-0 with Councilman Alamon abstaining from this vote. Our next applicant is Bill Metzger with Metzger Awards at 105 West Main. Uh, this is a high visibility property just off of Galloway and Main. We're very pleased to present this one. At the left of the image in the white, you'll see the property as it stands today. Uh, at the right, you see a rendering that came by virtue of our participation in the Texas Main Street program. As part of the program, everyone in our downtown Main Street district is eligible for free renderings from our state office, as stated before. This rendering, um, Rick, recommend some really great standard practices, best practices uh, in our business. The flat panel signage within the sign mortise, the overhead gooseneck lighting and illumination of the building, the extruded metal awning with custom brackets, repairing the signage, having the appropriate amount of signage within the window, repairing the doors, etc. Some may question why painting brick because normally in historic preservation we don't paint old brick. In this case, the brick is already painted and it actually does more damage to, by trying to remove that paint. So we just want them to use appropriate practices to repaint and uh, the uh, downtown advisory board did approve this application on this building, which historically a lot of people knew it as the Napa store for a long time. And uh, it's a 25 foot storefront, approximately about 1,775 square feet. Here's the scope of work for that property. You'll see that they're going to be doing a metal a canopy of the extruded uh, uh, metal again. It's going to be bronze in color. The signage again, flat panel as, as uh, recommended with the lighting as recommended and the clean prime and paint the exterior uh, brick as well. And the total is $13,133.10, which would make the requested grant $6,566.55. Thank you. Now, I was talking about the door, because we've looked at this picture now twice, and it looks yellow on this. Right, on this. right. It's not yellow. <laughs> it's kind of bronzy, you. but yes. That's good. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That, I think it's a great improvement as well, that uh, that building really stand out, I think, and yeah. it's a great idea. Any, any questions for Ms. Abel? All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mayor, I'll make a motion. That we uh, approve item 15 and that we are partners with the Metzger family and invest in this property. I'm excited right. about the investment that's going on. All right, we have a motion. I'll, I'll second that. We have a second. Any other comments or discussion? If not, please cast your vote. And that item passes 5 0 again with Councilman Alamon abstaining from that vote. So that passes as well.